Sagittarius, this is your forecast for the month of March 2018. This is a general reading for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, or Sagittarius Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your Rising and Moon sign as well. Now, the underlying energy is this King of Swords. So this is air energy. This is... Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female, or just the traits of this king. And this is a king who is concerned with making decisions. He has to be rational, objective, non-emotional, so that he can get to the truth. That's his goal, having a balanced judgment and making a fair decision. So he's calling on his analytical mind. In some cases, he's closing off to his emotions. But the goal is equality, justice. So this is a month where you're going to find that those are issues that are important to you. Maybe you're involved in arbitration, negotiation, uh, the legal system. Maybe you're trying to get some kind of expertise or gain that. Uh, it's about the strength of character, yours or someone else's. And somebody could be out of touch with their feelings, especially with that Eight of Swords. Somebody may be repressing something. Now, this could be a month where somebody doesn't want to be limited. They want to be free. They want to do what they, you know, and Sagittarius is a sign that loves freedom. You rule the ninth house, the higher mind, expansion, opening yourself up, no boundaries. This person doesn't like limitations imposed on them. Now, it could be that they fear being close, that they close off because intimacy is frightening. For some of you, you're dealing with people who hold some kind of official title, a lawyer, a doctor, a politician, a leader, a military person, a specialist, a judge, an arbitrator, a professional, somebody who is willing to fight for your interests. Could be your father. If you're dealing with somebody and there's a lack of cooperation, it could be somebody who is aggressive. Could be a father that cuts his children off because there are issues of cutting something out of your life this month. Uh, you know, somebody may be very detached, very aloof, or somebody could be giving you some really excellent advice. This king knows how to solve problems, and maybe he's even intellectually intimidating. He's coming from a position of authority. But when he can't, you know, come up with ideas or solutions, he gets very anxious. He starts to act in a negative way with that Ace of Swords. He starts to become devious or nasty so that he can get some relief from that anxiety. Now, some of you, you're going to be connecting with other people and getting some stimulating conversation. They're going to be able to, you know, talk about performance or give you some knowledge or help you shore up some weaknesses in a situation. But in other cases, this is somebody who's not particularly sensitive. This is somebody who's arrogant or, you know, they are not taking responsibility for their decisions. They don't want to be challenged. They don't want their beliefs to be challenged. So, you or someone close could be trying to really get the notice of someone else, and yet you're holding yourself back. There's that reluctance to make that first move. Some of you are coming in contact with, you know, extra news, obligations that you just are bound to, where you have to connect with people that can give you some advice or you're giving that out. And so these connections are short-lived. They serve a purpose to exchange some thoughts, some ideas, some information, and then it's over with. But for some of you, you know, this is going to be a month where you're dealing with some challenging circumstances and your relationships have a greater intensity to them. 
It could be, again, this lack of clarity, not, you know, misinterpreting, miscommunication, people being on different pages, sending out mixed signals. And again, it may tie to exploring something. Uh, could be travel plays a role in your circumstances. Could be traveling physically or traveling of the mind, expanding yourself pushing some emotional boundaries, pushing the boundaries by coming up with creative ideas or recognizing where you're stuck and coming up with something new. So, you know, again, you're dealing, either this king is protecting you, he's helping you deal with situations in a better manner, or he's helping you protect yourself in some way. Or this is your rival. This is your opponent. This is somebody who's not even bothering to make you feel like being connected to you means anything because he's so arrogant. Uh, some of you, you know, you're going to try to control your situation and you're not going to be able to do that. Maybe you are being cut off or cut out or you're doing that to someone else. And it's an unhappy situation where people are separated, but somebody doesn't want to be. Could be you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have good social skills or they, they're lacking in emotional maturity. Uh, somebody may be struggling with making a decision or there's not any emotional understanding. And so somebody is distancing themselves from their feelings or a, a loving connection. For some of you, there's some deception and all of the problems that go with that. Somebody is inaccurate about their perceptions or somebody's being exploited or intimidated or somebody's trying to get revenge or there's some accusations or selfishness or ruthlessness. Uh, so you have the gamut, which however you're using, the, however this energy is playing out in your life. But here's the good thing. You have no major cards. So you indeed do have more options whether you realize it or not. Whatever is happening to you is likely to be a passing frustration. It's going to come blow in and blow out. Now you have two kings, so this could be some profitable partnership or connection, a deal of some sort, or maybe, you know, these are two kings that are very opposite. One is in his mind and one is very grounded, and that could be an issue. This is going to be a month, though, that has some kind of frustration. For some of you, these are legal issues, perhaps a legal settlement, or you're dealing with uh, issues where people have suffered, maybe surgery, could be emotional grief. Uh, and, and so maybe there's some painful news or a bitter truth or secret reveal. Some of you, maybe there's a love triangle, perhaps. Maybe somebody is dealing with two different men or two different partners. Uh, and, and maybe you can't make a decision. You're holding yourself back. You, maybe you like both of them for different reasons. Uh, for some of you, you know, you perhaps were expecting whatever has, is coming and you, it's just a relief to know what it is. So now you can come up with that better plan. But for those of you who are having difficulty facing this truth, this is going to be very challenging for you to move through. And you're also weighing your options. Again, could be two opportunities, could be uh, extra work because of you're trying to juggle multiple obligations. This could be something financial where you're, you're spread too thin as far as your finances and you're having to borrow from one place to pay this and that. Uh, but you are looking at what is available to you. You're weighing your options about what's best for you. And it could have to do with cooperating with that King of Pentacles or getting some assistance or working on some financial transactions or dealing with some property. Um, so this is a month where, you know, things are going to... Hey, before you go, don't forget to visit my website blog for the Daily Tarot Card of the Day.